here we have the new Power Hobby pins right here. I showed you guys these at Cherokee Rock Village during the Halloween Hall and Crawl 5. Now I'm going to show them to you on the table, and I have already driven them for this video. I've already done the drive. Let's look at the wear on these tires. You guys are going to be impressed. And then I'm going to show you the footage. Ah, let's go. Okay, so here they are. Still got dust on them and all that stuff like that, both from there and from here now. Let's dig a little bit closer. I'm going to pull one of these off. I'll pull a rear one off because that's where all the real load goes, right? Let's look at this thing. Check these things out right here, guys. These have got overall about four or five runs. I ran them about three times at Cherokee Rock Village. And obviously the run here, the ramp, all that stuff. And they are really holding up well. So, um, yeah, really impressed with these tires, guys. Now, these are more for like your sporty uh, your uh, sporty comp and all that. So with that in mind, um, I think we need a sporty class here at the Exoflex now. Hey, <laughs> and that was after the drives, all the drives, including the drives from today. So very nice. They're holding up great. They don't, they don't fold over, but man, they got some traction. Let's get out there and show you guys that footage. All right. First climb, kind of a typical as usual kind of thing here. Yeah, get these tires broken in at the Exoplex, see how they hook up, which is super good. Oh, I'm all over my axles. There we go. I know a lot of you guys are wanting to see this one. Let's see what we got here. Nice, simple, easy pull. The underdrive is not turned on, by the way. Well, pretty darn quick. Let's try something. Holding pretty darn good, don't you think? This tire is not even touching. <laughs> there we go. Nice. They hook good on the ramp. Let's see if they'll hook good on Crowley. They did great out at Cherokee Rock Village too. Oh wow, look at that. Holding pretty good right there. Now here's where balance and all that's gonna be a huge factor. Gotta get this right here. You gotta ride just like that, but you don't wanna catch the top of the tire. Wow. <laughs> I made the climb, I just got to finish it. Oh, all right. Try it again here. There we go. Now, having a vehicle just physically crawl the face of climb time is something I've been after. And I think I've got it once or twice in the past with different tires. Let's just see where we're at here. Slipping a little bit. Looks like the front end is just simply trying to stand all the way up and come over. Let's see here. Yep, basically the front is doing nothing. It's all in the back. Let's try a little bit of speed. There we go. Right. Hey, that was a pretty darn good climb up that cliffhanger time. I'm going after just all the good stuff here. Just got to go after all the good stuff. Yeah, beautiful. Get that front to make the pull over and see if we can make the pull right straight up this is when things get really tipsy if it gets the rotation it'll be a one shot if it doesn't get the rotation it's not it got it 
The front end is settling down. That was a one shot. And they even went over the peak. Nice. Some natural river rock from somewhere up north. See how we're hooking here. Looking good. Yeah. Oh, I rolled my big rock out. I guess I'm going to make a U-turn here. Alrighty then. Let's jump on Castiel. This is a climb right here that kind of throws you up. And typically, straight axles don't do so well here because it tends to hang up on the axles. Not this time. Not this time at all. And we're going to drop in for the nasty. See if we can catch all of it here. Let me see what we've got going. We'll try the high side here. Let the back end drop down. Beautiful climb right there. Nice hook. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Got that. Now we get right into the <laughs> world famous Kragadoom. Oh boy. Let's see what we got here. Ah. Now that could be some tire roll right here. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh. I thought they might wrap and actually pull that. Oh, look at, look at the tire roll right there. Got to do some inserts in these soon. Get this right here to go. There we go. Got it that time. Drop that front end down into here. Make the pull around. Nice. Yeah. Easy right now. I'm going I'm to take the hard way out too. And the hard way out is actually right up the uh, bricks right here. So let's see what we can do here. Woo! Tire roll almost cost me to go over there. But dude, I'm actually stuck on that too. That's nice. Get that set down in there. Looking good. Sitting on the back bumper. There we go. Beautiful. All right, one final climb for this drive. We got Gatekeeper. Let's see what we can do here. Now, I don't want to try to, I don't want to bounce it. I don't want to do any of that. I want to try to simply crawl it. Look at that. Yep. Use that turn to your advantage sometimes, right? <laughs> okay. They went to the ramp as you guys just saw. And I stopped it. Got out, got the video at the top of the ramp. That was impressive, okay? Then, as far as going up climb time, I didn't quite have enough weight to hold the front end down, but I just simply drove up it once I got a little bit of momentum. Nice, simple, and easy and all that. Um, One-shotted cliffhanger, beautiful. Beautiful on that. Um, everything it did, Crowley, all that stuff was just amazing. So, these pins are absolutely awesome. Now, when it comes to the inserts, yeah, it's probably not going to be the norm what I'm going to do here, but I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm only going to put inserts in the front. This way I get to pick up my steering accuracy, but the back can still float and move. I'm going to try that. So, But regardless of all that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, enjoyed the video. These are a true sporty competition tire, not for scale. So you know they're on a scale truck. I kind of want to build a sporty comp vehicle, but anyway, that's all. That that all comes later, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Check that description. I'll link these up down below. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And guys, I want you to have a wonderful day. And um, go ahead, have an energy drink. So long as it's not late in the evening. You don't want to be up all night. You know your heart will boom, 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 boom. But regardless of all that, go have a great day, guys. Have a great one, guys. You made it to the end. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys making it to the end of the video means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. 
Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A, B, and E, B, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.